Hi, it's Billy there. Hey, Gretchen, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Sorry, I'm a little late. Oh, it's all good. It's a pleasure to hear your voice. It's uh, Gretchen Rossi in the flesh. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right into it. I don't want to keep you too long. You are on The Real okay. Housewives of Orange County. What season is this? This is season six for us. Season six. Now, you're no longer uh, a newbie, so I take it you're enjoying your stint on the show. You know what? Um, depends on what day of the week it is when you ask me that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure that Bravo hasn't confirmed another season, but is it something that you want to do if they ask you to do it again? You know, I, I honestly, I got to tell you, every single season, I really struggle with whether or not I'm going to come back or not. It, it's tough because, you know, you really are putting your whole life out there and people sometimes you know, rip you to shreds. So yeah, every yeah. year I think you really question whether or not you want to come back. However, I've had a lot of great opportunities and I've built some great businesses from it. So I, you know, that's kind of the thing that keeps me motivated and keeps me going. For sure. We're going to talk about the special projects in a second. Let's get into a few fun ones. Who is your favorite housewife and why? Um, you mean out of all the franchises or in Orange County? Let's do Orange County first. Well, I would say that, um, let's see, I really miss Gina. Gina used to be my favorite. Yeah. And now Alexis and I are, are good friends, um, but we definitely have our differences, and we definitely get into our arguments and fights. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we don't see eye to eye on things, so I would say it'd probably be a toss-up between the two of them. Okay, who's your least favorite housewife and why? Well, I think you know this answer. Come on. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. <laughs> um, it would definitely have to be Tamara. And um, and unfortunately, what's sad about that is that I really, I've always liked her, and I always thought she was my friend. And then I started watching the show and seeing all the crap she was saying behind my back, and then she made false accusations about me and, you know, really just tried to um, tried to get people not to like me. And I just thought that was really weird. So mm -hmm. I've... I've never really, you know, it's hard to just kind of move past that when somebody does that to you for no no good reason. Yeah, I'm going to be 100% completely honest with you. Tamara was actually one of my favorites, and when you came, I wasn't your biggest fan, and oh, how the tables have turned. Oh, yeah. see? Yeah, no, you're, you know you're probably my favorite I, now. Yeah. Aw, thank you. That's so nice. You know, I, I mean, the thing is about Tamara is everybody says she, you know, everybody likes her because she calls it how it is, but mm -hmm. to me, I think there's a way to call it like how it is and not be, um, you know... <sighs> you know, detrimental to somebody's life and not make accusations that you really don't know anything about. You know, you can be fun and witty and, and get your point across without, you know, trying to, to ruin somebody's life or hurt them on a level that you really can't take back. You know what I mean? I think that's a perfect way to put it because my opinion about her has changed uh, 100% over the past couple of years. So right. there is that. Right. Um, who is your favorite housewife from all of the series? You know, it's interesting because I have friends in almost every city, and I kind of feel like it's one big sorority because we all, when we get together, we're all just, you know, like like college girls all hanging out and having fun. Yeah. But um, but I really enjoy getting to know Kyle and Lisa from Beverly Hills. I love and Kyle. And I feel like, yeah, they're really, really, really cool people. And, you know, I, I don't spend too much time with them, but from the short time I have spent with them, they really seem like they're really cool and down to earth. And, uh and then, you know, from Atlanta, I actually know most of those girls there, and I still keep in touch even with uh, Lisa that used to be on the show, yeah, and yeah. Um, I know all the New Jersey girls, so, you know, I have, I have a lot of fun with, with all the girls. I don't know if I have one exact favorite. One favorite. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. I'm going to shoot out a couple of things, and I want you to give me the name at the top of your head in regards to the OC girls, okay? Okay. Uh, funniest housewife. Me, of course. Of course. Hottest housewife. Uh, you, of course, oh, you, of course, awesome. come on. Maybe Alexis, she's pretty hot. She is, but I, I would still give that one to you for sure. Oh, uh, you're nice. Drunkest housewife. Um, depends on what day of the week it is. It could possibly be me or Tamara. <laughs> very nice. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, get into this very quickly. I feel like there might be some kind of curse in regards to relationships. We saw Tamron and Simon split up. We saw Vicky and Don split up, which was a total shocker mm -hmm. to me. Do you think that there's a curse there? Are you worried about that at all? You know, I don't think I'm necessarily worried about that, but I do kind of get that feeling like they're the curse because yeah. so many people that have been on reality shows, their marriages have ended. And, you know, I really think it takes a very strong, grounded couple mm -hmm. um, that really knows who they are and won't allow TV to get in the way of that or fame, really, because sometimes I think, you know, like in Simon and Tamara's situation, Simon was very blunt and open about going out saying that, you know, fame was more important than... Tamara than their family yeah, and yeah. 
it's hard because I, I get that sometimes that that can get in the way, but you have to really choose what's most important. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm definitely rooting for you, just so you know. Thank you. You're Me welcome. Too. Hey, um, <laughs> plastic surgery. Uh, the show focuses on it a little bit. What's your take on it? Have you had anything done? Do you want anything done? Do you love it, hate it? What are your thoughts? I love that you say the show focuses on it a little bit. A, a it's little like bit? half the show. No, no, because <laughs> I read and I heard that you told Andy Cohen that you have nothing. Yeah, well, it's so funny. Everybody, like, I seriously have been accused of having cheek implants, my chin done, my nose done, my yeah. eyes done. Like, I've been accused of the craziest things ever. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is, is I am the only housewife in Orange County and probably in a lot of the franchises that has never had any plastic surgery. Now, having Botox or fillers is not plastic surgery. Plastic yeah. surgery, the actual definition of it, is cutting of the skin. Yeah. I've not had my boobs done. I've not had my... Somebody, he asked me if I had fake teeth. I'm like, what? Fake teeth? <laughs> like, I mean, they come up with the craziest crap sometimes. So yeah. the fact of the matter is, is I'm not against plastic surgery whatsoever. Okay. I really think that one day I probably will have plastic surgery. However, I think that there's, a there's an age and there's, you know, a time for you to do that. And I think a lot of young women are doing it too soon. Uh -huh. And they're making themselves look worse than, than what they already, you know, I mean, I think they're making themselves look worse. They're already yeah. beautiful, and they're making themselves look bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, signature cocktail. What do you like to drink? Oh, I do love my dirty martinis with blue cheese stuffed olives. But, you know, that is Vicky's drink. She invented that, remember? Yeah, yeah, so. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> what is your uh, karaoke song of choice? What do you like to sing? Oh, I always think like a virgin is hilarious to sing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just go for it full out, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us about your health and fitness regimen. You look amazing. Please, what is your story? Thank you. Everybody always wants a secret, and unfortunately, I don't have a secret. And honestly, um, a lot of women are going to kill me for this, but I barely have time to work out right now because I am so freaking busy. Yeah. So I actually, what I've done is I put weights all around my house, um, literally in the kitchen, in the living room, up in my bedroom, and I'm cooking dinner, and I ha I'm doing a set of reps where I'm, like, stirring the spaghetti. <laughs> like, I literally do that. Or when I'm watching TV, I'm not just sitting there on the couch and being a bum. I'm doing my sit-ups, I'm doing my leg lifts, I'm doing my arm exercises. Um, I just, I have to find the time to put it in my day. Yeah. And I actually think it's been really great because it's allowed me to not be so, pre like, pressure myself so much that I have to go to the gym for two hours. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I just do it throughout the day, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day, and it really, you know, helps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like 10, 15 minutes in like different parts of the day, you know, like four times a day I'm doing it for 15 minutes mm -hmm. in the middle of doing something else. I can multitask. I'm a multitasker. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, speaking of uh, multitasking, we're about to get into your uh, makeup line and your handbag line. But before that, do you have any fashion advice that you like live by? A any advice that you want to share with someone, you know? You know, my fashion advice, the best fashion advice I can give is always just do what feels right and sexy for you. Everyone's always going to have an opinion. The, the, you know, the trends for that season are going to be a certain thing. But the fact of the matter is, is if you put something on and you don't feel sexy in it or you don't feel like you look good, don't do it. Don't wear it. You know, mm -hmm. I just think a lot of people get caught up in these trends or whatever, and then they try to wear something and they don't feel good and they look silly. So, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the way that you're going to look your best is if you feel your best. But just do what's right for you. Yeah. Well, you are helping the cause here with your makeup line. Talk to us about the concept. Uh, how did you create it? Are you in control of colors, design, uh, the idea? Talk to us. So the whole idea actually came from um, thousands of emails and Facebook and Twitter messages from my fans, my mm -hmm. lovely, loyal, wonderful fans, yeah. um, that, uh, that really just said, gosh, I love your makeup, you're so pretty, you know, what do you do? Mm -hmm. And um, when I started responding to a bunch of these people, they were like, oh my gosh, I've never even heard of that brand. Like it was Clay de Poe and, you know, it was a $100 foundation bottle or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I, I actually hit some financial hardships um, after Jeff passed away. And I really realized that I had to really, you know, find affordable makeup. And I thought to myself, you know what, there is so much, I've, I've had access to the best makeup out there, you know, from being on camera and being on red carpets and whatever. So I yeah. said, you know what, I feel like there's no high quality, great makeup out there that you can get an affordable price. And so that's what I set out to do. And, yeah, I have, um, you know, I, I've been in the lab mixing my own colors and coming up with my own, you know, uh, um, uh, different um, products. And, you know, I mean, I've, I've worked from scratch 
from about the line. I have 300 SKUs in the line, and um, it's been a, it's been a long time, you know, and a lot of work. Yeah. But I'm very proud of it, and I have not had, you know, bad reviews from customers. Most of the customers actually love the product, and they're completely satisfied, and we get the product out on time to them, and it comes in cute packages, and, you know, I've worked really hard on it. Yeah, it's nice to know that you're in there hands-on with the product. Absolutely. You know, it's important because here's the thing. I'm not the type of person that's in the public eye that's just going to put my name on everything and brand with everything. To me, I just think that that, that you start to get a little diluted when you do that. For mm-hmm. me, it's really important that anything that I'm branding with or I put my name behind, that I truly believe in the product A and B, that I really would wear or have on my face or that the handbags that I'm making, that I would be seen out on a red carpet with it. I mean, how can I expect everyone else to buy that product if I'm not out able to wear it and able to have it myself? Yeah, you have to believe in it, I imagine. And so are, you're the same hands-on in regards to your handbag line. I actually didn't even know that you were working on the handbags until this season. Yeah, we um, we actually have been working on it in the off-season. It take, took about um, eight to nine months to mm-hmm. really come um, you know, to fruition with it. And I had been working... Uh, with a head designer with the manufacturing group I was working with. And we launched it on Shop NBC to um, great success. We did an 80, 83% sell through, which was huge for a first time brand on a home shopping network. Yeah. And um, then we went back into production for, um, for um, my website. And we ended up almost being completely sold out of all the bags. And wow. since airing on the show, it's just been pandemonium on my site, uh-huh. Christine dot com, uh-huh. and everybody's like, oh, "I want these bags. I want these bags. How do I find it?" And I'm like, "Shoot, we're you know we're working on the new collection. We're not going back to the old collection." So <laughs> yeah. that's been kind of fun. You know, it's good. It's better to be sold out than you know have sitting on inventory. But it's also sure. hard because I want to give my fans what they want. You know. Are you carrying a Gretchen Christine bag right now? I actually am. I'm uh, my black woven doctor's bag is sitting next to me. I'm driving in the car, oh, so it's nice. sitting next to me in the in the car right now. Okay. I always carry my bag. I mean, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I you know. I definitely. I have a huge handbag collection, so I'm going to change up my bags. Every woman loves to have different bags in their closet. I mean, it's not yeah. like you're never again going to see me with, you know, my my designer nice handbags. But mm-hmm. it's. But it also, you know, I'm really proud of my bags. And if it looks the best with my outfit that day, I'm going to be rocking one of my bags. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That makes perfect sense. So the, the makeup line is called Gretchen Christine Butte. Is that, that's not the handbag line as well. The handbag line is Gretchen Christine, right? Yeah, I mean, basically everything's Gretchen Christine. We're even taking the Butte off the makeup line. Everything's just Gretchen Christine. It's the Gretchen Christine collection. And under the collection, you're going to, you get my handbags, you have my makeup. And we're actually starting to get into other areas. Basically, it's going to be a whole lifestyle brand. So you're going to be able to find anything and everything that a girl would want in her closet or in her bathroom or, you know, getting pretty and looking good. And that's really the whole concept and the, the motto behind this brand that I'm building. Do you entertain the idea of working in men's fashion? You know, I have had so many people ask me about this. And I have a lot. I have a huge... Um, uh, gay following on my Twitter, on my Facebook, and everybody is so sweet because they're correcting you got to come up with the merch. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, the merch. <laughs> Which is the man first. So uh-huh. they all want me to do like an over the shoulder merch. And so, um, you know, it's definitely my that I venture into. And to, to, uh, to, I love giving my fans what they ask for. So when I keep getting tons of requests, it just puts my mind in, you know, a little spinning motion and I want to get, get going on a new project. So you never know. Okay. Well, you are on Twitter, you are on Facebook, and GretchenChristine.com is the website, right? Yep, that's right. Perfect. Uh, Gretchen, you are an absolute pleasure. Thank you a million times over for your time. Love you millions, and we're going to keep watching. Thank you. Thank you so much, Love. Take care. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.